Welcome back to Love and Romance Tarot Readings. I am super excited to get into today's video. Let me zoom in. We are going to tap into the physical description of your future spouse. So it'll be a very specific reading. Every pile will be very different and intricate. And we're going to get into everything. Their eye color, their style, zodiac sign, their initials, the marriage, how it will come together, their hair, their skin tone, literally anything that you could possibly think of about like even their personality. We're going to get into the finest of details, but we're going to figure out who you're going to marry, who your future spouse is. So my Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find your girl. Other than that, uh, pause the video if you need more time with the piles. You can always pick more than one pile for all of my readings. We have group one with the Rhodonite Crystal Point and we'll be using the Final Rose Tarot. Group two with the Tourmalated Quartz and Alice and Luna's Tarot. Group three with the Sunstone Crystal Point and the Wheel of the Year Tarot, and Group 4 with the Appetite Crystal Point, and the Tarot Illuminati. So like I said, pause the video if you need more time, but we're just going to jump right into it, okay? Everything about your future spouse. All right, if you chose group one with the Rhodonite and the final rose tarot, this is your reading, your future spouse. We're just going to jump right in. Let's start with their eye color. We're going to get everything about them. Physical description, their initials, zodiac, everything. All right, so for eye color, we have blowns, our brown slash black eyes. So dark eyes coming through for the win right away. We have gray eyes. I only meant to grab three, but we actually had four that came out for you. We have light green eyes. Something I, I keep hearing hazel as well. Um, and then we have big brown eyes. Oh, I love that. So you guys may be from a country where you have a lot of brown eyed people or this person has uh, like a family that has, I'm seeing big, beautiful brown eyes though. Like, you know, like doe eyes, there's different eye styles. There's like fox eyes, there's cat eyes. I'm seeing like big, beautiful, brown, deep doe eyes with thick eyelashes. You guys are winning group one right away. I'm like, why does everybody sleep on the brown eyes are undefeated, period, point blank. Um, okay, so for their style, for your future spouse, we have unique, depends on the day. So right away, I'm getting uh, a very genuine energy from your spouse. Honestly, it could just be from that vision of their eyes that I saw. Um, but I do get like a very tapped in person, a very intuitive person. Uh, we have trendy style. So this person, they kind of go through different phases where they like to dress with the trends. We even have a retro style that showed up. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who's not afraid to get out of their comfort zone. I feel like it's someone who's not afraid to try something with their look and they are like that in their life as well. Spirit, can you show us their zodiac sign or their energy? Oof. Okay, so we have Aquarius square and trine, and it's so funny because in my or in my mind, I, I was asking spirit also anything about how they will meet. I wasn't sure if I wanted to pull that from the tarot or if I wanted to get it so soon from this deck, but I was kind of thinking about it in my head and I'm getting some information about how you're going to meet your future spouse. So first of all, they're coming out with some Aquarian energy. Uh, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, our planet and our solar system of change and revolution. So this person is not afraid to recreate themselves. This person is not afraid to start a business. I wouldn't be surprised if they had their own business. They seem very free spirited 
And it seems like, I, I believe the word for it is dilettante, like someone who has like different things that they participate in, but it's not like their entire life. Like this person may play music on the guitar at bars locally in the weekend, but that is like them living the dream. Like they never had uh, the desire to be like some huge, they just love to play, you know? So this person, I feel like they have something like that going on. But as far as how you guys are meeting, we have Square and Trine that showed up. Scry uh, a square is a challenge and a trine um, says flow. It's when, you know, three or more planets are working harmoniously together. Uh, the square says... Sounds the alarm, motivates, pressures into, frustrates, demands, struggles. And the trine says, harmonizes, lubricates, gifts, supports, and indulges. So there's an energy of maybe you guys going from enemies to lovers or you guys going from... I gotta be honest, I'm getting like... Uh, telenovela or like K-drama energy where it's like a couple in the big city you have like the business person and they're a gazillionaire and then you have you know someone trying to break into the industry and just trying to find their footing it feels like that kind of archetype and you guys come together and this person may be um, you know a bit afraid of you in the beginning or vice versa they may be cold towards you and you may be afraid of them there's like an energy of you guys kind of having some tension and then a release Ooh, sounds kind of ooh, what kind of read it hold on spirit this just the future spouse okay i'm not talking about the honeymoon let's see if anything else wants to come out spirit <clears throat> wow we have the north node with destiny so i would say that for a lot of you this is your next relationship north node with destiny is feeling very soon um and if you have anything going on with your north node that would be a further confirmation for you personally if you look at your transiting planets and stuff like that you may see that there's some activity going on with your north node but the north node says destiny it says learning curve fulfillment purpose maturing experience north star process, uh, blossoming, becoming, journey. So it's an energy of moving forward for sure. So as you're graduating into your next job, moving into your next, you know, big, like your next big break, your next big thing, whether it's a new job, a new home, new city, um, spiritual change, lifestyle change, that is is triggering this happening that is bringing you in alignment with your future spouse and they're just showing up as rebellious Aquarius is the only zodiac sign but we'll look for more later um let's see let's get their hair we got messy hair yeah, I could totally feel that. This person, we have braids, unconventional. Also, I'm seeing specifically with the braids, it's almost like, let me turn the camera down, the brightness keeps going up crazy. Um, I'm seeing like someone with dark, like black hair, black straight hair, thick hair, and they have like braids mixed in with their normal hair. So I feel like this person gets really creative with their look. It looks, the way I'm seeing it looks like edgy, futuristic, now I'm seeing silver, black, gray. This person may dress monochrome. Um, and then we have wavy hair. So that is what we got for that. We got messy hair. We got wavy hair. We got braids. Let's do their skin tone. We got slightly tanned skin. We have suntan skin. You may meet, you may be meeting this person in the summer. You may be meeting them on vacation. Uh, they may be from a warm, very warm country or a country that gets a lot of sun. The last one we got is medium brown skin. So it looks like this person's definitely got a tan. Let's see. Let's let's tap in. Spirit, final rose tarot for group one. Can you tell me about the marriage? What will the marriage be like? What kind of union is this? And how is it coming together? <clears throat> so there's definitely an energy 
coming up right away of taking the safe route, you may have chose to hermit recently. Like there is an energy of a self uh, induced hermit mode or something that you've stepped into. We have the tower in reverse and the king of wands in reverse. So you personally may not like to be like hollered at. You may not like that feeling of being chased. It may actually scare you. There's an energy of you opening up very, very slowly just to even the idea of like being in a relationship. So how this is going together, I'm seeing that you're taking the winding path to your partner versus whatever would have been the quick, quick path. You may even know that you have like crazy powers of manifestation. Things can manifest kind of instantly for you, very quickly for you, but you intentionally, again, it feels like a, a hermit mode that someone chose to step into. You may have put yourself into hermit mode literally so you wouldn't get yourself in alignment with a future spouse before you were ready. And honestly, it may have been unintentional to a degree because we do actually have the three of swords here. So there is an energy of maybe you dealt with someone longer than maybe you should have, or, you know, it feels like you had to learn some big lessons back to back to back before this connection would come in. Um, we have the nine of swords and the six of swords in reverse. So there's a little bit of a jaded energy that you're coming in on feeling kind of like, I don't know that love is really going to come in, or I'm just seeing you being a little bit pessimistic. Uh, spirit, can you tell me about the marriage? Ultimately, how this is coming together, I see it coming together by you starting some sort of new cycle, you or them. Because energy is fluid. This can be on their end as well. This could be them starting a new job and you've been working there for three years. Now you're working in the same building. So it could be on their end as well. But some sort of big new beginning, some sort of big new change. Uh, it feels like definitely it has something to do with a new space. So new location energy. And um, that's kind of kicking off the beginning of you meeting this person. But it seems like it's a challenge right away with the square. Um, and then we have the trine. So it's like, I'm getting a little bit of subdom energy, not going to lie. I cannot keep seeing, I cannot stop seeing that in my head. Like I keep seeing, I forget what it's called, but they have this like sequence. I feel like one of it, is, part of it is blowing steam. What the heck is that saying that I keep? It's like on the tip of my tongue. I keep getting this like BDSM energy. I'm like, what is going on? We have the Six of Cups. Nice. Ooh. This person could feel like home. We have the Queen of Swords. So it's looking like wherever you're stepping into, you're more than qualified. And this is actually when I was asking Spirit, like, okay, tell me about the marriage in itself. Um, so six of swords or sorry, the queen of swords with the six of cups is like an energy of you being the queen in your household, the king in your household, six of cups. There's a lot of like adoration this person has over you. And again, I don't know why I keep feeling this energy, but I'm like getting literal step on me energy. I'm like, yo, some, somebody in these spouses into some freaky, okay. <laughs> And then we have the Magician in reverse. So everything feels very easy with this person. It feels like you don't have to try. The marriage itself is very comfortable. We have the Two of Pentacles. So Spirit is saying, yeah, it's going to take time. And I feel like this person has gone through a similar path as you. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Devil. So there is an energy of maybe both of you had challenges or people that tried to get in your way, people that prevented you from being able to move forward as quickly as you should have been able to. It could be a third party situation. This devil card can just be flat out challenges. Um, but this is the final rose tarot, like based on like the bachelor or bachelorette fa franchise. So at the bottom, it does say different sayings. And at the bottom of the two of pentacles, it says the final two. And it just feels like both of you literally had to go through all these other connections or challenges to be brought together. And then you finally get together and you just, 
immediately kind of sync, sync up, link up, and it just makes sense and it feels good. Um, and again, we have the Wheel of Fortune. It showed up in reverse for you. But at the bottom of this card, it's, it does say Destiny. It's funny because you guys got the North Node uh, that said Destiny as well. And I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse because what I was talking about before, that winding path. And I feel like you chose it, even if it wasn't consciously, um, because again, you may not like, like maybe it was a lot of pressure or maybe it was a connection, like a specific person that... Uh, stopped you or held you back or you may know what it is as well spirit anything else about their future spouse their personality I'll do some advice at the end as well to see you know how you can align with your spouse better quicker we have the father, so this person is giving daddy energy. Listen, I'm telling you, listen, I'm telling you. <laughs> this person, they are going to wear you out, group one. Like, if you have really needed some tender loving care, if you know what I'm talking about, like, you're getting that with this person. Like, they're going <laughs> to... They're going to get you together. You're going to be... You're going to be all right, soldier. You did a good job. And it's... And it's coming full circle soon hang in there okay fan that kitty down you got a firefighter coming in and they're gonna save the day group one we got poet we got father so again this person they give a lot of daddy energy um it says talent for creating and supporting life yeah i bet you are positive guiding light within a tribal unit this person they give father energy they can organize the trip they can you know literally Get all the things done so that you can sit in your true vegetable state and literally just have a break for a while after all the challenges that you've been going through. Uh, this person is a leader. We have the poet. And this one says expresses soul insights and symbolic language. I'm hearing talk to me nice kind of energy. So if you're someone who needs people to be gentle with the way they speak to you, no raised voices or say it nicely, this person will honor that. We have the mentor. So again, they give like quite the serious energy, but I feel like I wish I I wish I knew a couple that I can compare this to, but I also don't because it's unique and perfect in its own right and no one can explain it. It, it can only be experienced, but you guys are very different. You, you two are very different. I feel like you pick up where they lack and vice versa. Uh, and then we have the mentor. It says passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. So this person, they have a lot of teaching ability. We have the Samaritan. They may be even involved in like charity or some sort of like pursuit that helps children or other people. Um... We have the engineer, it says, ability to give creative energy, practical expression, talent for talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. So they're an engineer. This person, I just feel in their energy that they have solutions. Like, it's so nice. Like, you can really kind of just, like, I, I'm seeing you have a lot of moments with this person where it's like, oh, so I can just do nothing then? Like, I'm, you're good? It's, it's, it's all taken care of? And it's like, yeah, literally with this person, it's all taken care of. And then we have the fool. So they're open. They're not stuck in their ways. They're, they're open to building with you, creating with you, and, um, you know, kind of learning you and what you need and things like that. Let's get some initials. All right. We have our... We have an N, we have C, we have M, we have L, we have a Y, we have a O, we have a R. Also, if you see any words or, oh, let me cover the faces. It always brightens up my camera. If you see any words or your initials, let people know in the comments so that they can get all the spiritual downloads that come with this. Uh, we have a W. For Wumbo, we have Z, we have G, we have an H, and we have a U. Okay, let me just pull some advice quick here. 
and we'll see what you can do to get in alignment with this quicker or what you can do to manifest this in it feels like it's destiny at this point for you though group one to be honest we got a lot of yeah we got a lot of north node energy it says integrate your knowing so i feel like for you right now group one it's only about believing but you don't have to believe in something for it to be true you don't have to believe in something for it to happen so if it feels impossible for you to do that don't even stress yourself out just live your life and more focus on just following through with your other intuitive nudges because for some people it can just drive them insane so do what's best for you but we have stop, uh, stop drop and ground and we have limitations inspire innovation so spirit is again saying like everything definitely happened for a reason everything that you've experienced in the past did have a major role in this finally coming together and you being able to have this moment where it's like finally Finally, I have my future spouse. I'm getting my happily ever after. I, I, I really just feel like, again, it feels like self-induced hermit mode or it feels like it's literally fine for you to just relax and do nothing. Um, and then with stop, drop, and ground, um, that's an energy of, you know, connecting with the earth, an energy of grounding yourself even in meditation just so you can calm your anxiety because I feel like the only problem is just you're tightly wound from the things that you've gone through, but there's no problem in terms of, like, getting here. This is inevitable. So yeah, group one, that is what I have for you. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what I have for you today, and I will talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group two with the Tourmalated Quartz and Alice in Luna's Tarot, this is your reading, tapping into your future spouse. We're going to get everything about them, the relationship. Let's see, Spirit. Let's start with their eyes. Show me the eyes for group two, their future spouse. <clears throat> okay, we have gray eyes. Dark brown eyes, multicolored eyes, so this could even be a hazel. I'm also tapping into someone's who their eyes, they're so dark that they may look gray. You know, like, uh, I see this a lot of times in babies as well. Like some babies when they're born, their eyes first look gray and then they grow and then their eyes look more blue or brown, whatever color they're going to be. Yeah, and then the last one we got is black eyes. So we got dark brown eyes, black eyes. We got gray eyes and multicolored eyes. So I would say that this person, they either have a hazel eye or they may have a, a an eye like that has kind of a flash of another color. Look at it at just the right angle. It may look like more of a navy blue. Look at it at a different angle. It may look more gray or it may look more black. So... Spirit, for group two, can you show me the style of their future spouse? And let's see. We have preppy style. So this person likes to look nice. I'm also seeing golf. <laughs> this person may like to play golf or they may have like that old money aesthetic. We have athleisure style. So yeah, it's looking like it's going right in alignment. Okay, get them a polo and some bust down shorts. They are good to go. <laughs> we have hipster style. I'm also smelling perfume right now, at, or uh, not perfume, but I guess this would be cologne. It smells very soapy uh, and fresh. So if you're someone who needs like your person to smell good, I do see you're going to get that. And the last one we got is retro style. So I feel like this person has something specific though that they're into that has to do with retro. And it does it is considered style, um, but Spirit is showing me like this person may be into specifically like retro shoes or retro watches. It's not like they dress, you know, like retro as a whole altogether. Spirit was showing me that. Um, okay, Spirit, so for group two, can you show us their zodiac sign, their energy? How will they meet? Can you give us their zodiac sign? 
their energy and information of how they will meet. Okay, we got a lot. Wow, okay, cool. Nice, nice. We have a lot of, oh, I wish I had a picture of a zodiac wheel in front of me. Um, we have a lot of opposites showing up for you. We got Cancer and Capricorn, which are opposites, direct opposites on the zodiac wheel. And I'm not sure, but I want to say, aren't Gemini and Scorpio or no? Or is it Gemini and Libra? I feel like one of these may be opposites as well. But in terms of signs, we got Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, and Capricorn. These are signs that you can look out for. Cancer immediately gives this person a feminine energy. Cancer is ruled by the moon. Cancer in this deck is the doula. So there's something about this person that is very feminine and has a very warm touch. This person, like heavy on the warm. I'm seeing bubble baths. I'm seeing candlelight. Like this person is into that. They're very romantic. They're passionate um, and tapped in. And then we have Capricorn, the boss in this deck. So they also have this kind of hardworking, serious, authoritative side that is very sure of itself, confident and grounded in its own energy, which is, again, the opposite to Cancer, literally in terms of the Zodiac, but yeah, the opposite of like the moon type of energy. Cancer, I'm pretty sure is, or Capricorn, I'm pretty sure I want to say is ruled by Saturn. Um, so definitely a more serious authoritative energy versus the moon, which is all about feelings. Um, so this person, I feel like they're very balanced in their professional world. This person is a boss in their personal world. This person is very soft and specifically soft for you. We have Gemini and Libra, two air signs. Gemini is the butterfly. Libra is the idealist, two air signs. Um, and Gemini, you know, it's that twins kind of archetype, that duality. And that's something that I keep seeing as a theme. This person may be a literal twin. Um, they may have twins that run in their DNA. Your first set of kids, if you have kids with this person, may be twins. So if that's something you're looking out for, hey, it's looking like you're getting it. Um, but yeah, I keep seeing like this duality, this opposing energy uh, in this person. Um, and then we have Scorpio, the powerhouse, which is more water energy. So this person can be very deep. They can be authoritative. They can be dominant. Um, but they can also be subtle, receptive, present, warm, considerate. Um, I think it really just depends on the time and the place. Like if they're working, they're going to be more dominant. Um, or if they're at home, you know, they'll be more warm and present with their kids and, you know, their pets and things like that. Um, and then in terms of how this is coming together, how you guys are meeting, we have the Ascendant with Outlook. So this may happen as a result of a glow up that you have or a level up. This could be mind, body, or soul, either of them. You could have a, sp a huge spiritual ascension and then all of a sudden you're able to move forward. You could have a huge physical glow up. That would be uh, more obvious and it's like you're really working on your, you know, your body your diet, all of that, attracting a lot of attention, that kind of thing. All right, so let's keep going. Let's get into their hair. We'll get more on that uh, from the tarot, how you'll meet. For the hair, we have long hair. Ooh, I love a good long hair moment, not going to lie. I love luscious long hair. We have dyed hair plain. So there's two of these that have dyed hair on it. And one of them is plain and one of them is color. So this would be like dyed hair that looks like, you know, normal hair still. Not like purple, blue, pink, but more like, you know, a blonde that dyes their hair brunette or someone with uh, dark hair that, uh, you know, dyes their hair a natural color. And then we have a, picky, a pixie cut slash fade. So... That is what we got for hair. Let's see their skin tone. And we still got so much more to go. Their initials, we'll get about the relationship, more about them. Advice on how to get to them sooner or how to align with your spouse. For skin tone, we have a light brown skin. We have suntan skin. You may be meeting them in the summer or when it's warm. 
And then we have dark brown skin. I'm also seeing someone meet their person on vacation or this person may be from a different country than you I'm seeing as well for some of you. All right, let's see. Spirit for group two. Show us the marriage. What will the marriage be like? How will this come together? <clears throat> so I'm seeing right away this person, they are not, they are being kind of put through it. It's like your guides, the universe is putting them through all sorts of challenges when it comes to even being in alignment with you to even meet you. There's an energy of like God's favorite here and you are really God's favorite and no one can get through to you unless it is blessed by your angels, ancestors, the whole spiritual team, like uh, all the forces and dimensions have to be in agreement for anyone to connect with you or to come into your life because they just do not play around when it comes to you, period, point blank. We have the Ten of Swords and the King of Pentacles, so they really had to work hard to get where they're at. This person is all about long-term stability. The marriage in itself, Ten of Swords, King of Pentacles, is like we get through everything together. We are a team. Strong team energy. We are all in this together. <laughs> we have... The Queen of Wands and the Five of Swords. So you guys may live chaotic uh, lives. You may live in the city. You may want to have a lot of kids. You may end up having a lot of animals. You may have a lot of responsibility. Both of you may be in very high paying jobs. There is some sort of life that breeds a lot of like extra people. It feels like all hands on deck. So again, you may be marrying into someone, starting a family, having kids back to back to back. And then it's like, I'm seeing so many hands on deck, like, you know, your mom helping you or you getting a nanny or vice versa. Um, there's a strong energy of like a lot going on. You guys may be having your own farm, especially if you've been thinking like what you want for yourself in the future and you've been wanting more of like a life that seems more simple or that seems more... Uh, dedicated to like healthy living or simple living. Um, I'm seeing there being a lot of responsibilities or a lot of chaos or a lot going on in your lives, a lot of people in your lives. So again, some of you may even have some fame, notoriety. I was getting power couple energy. You guys could link up and literally like get to the next level, like not even the next level, like quantum leap, three levels above being in each other's presence and energy. But this person has to earn you from the ground up. We have the page of cups and the lover's card in reverse. Your guys are not playing with this person, period, point blank. <laughs> They're really not like, they have to work for you hard. And this could also be to you personally. Especially if you don't have like a close, close relationship with your dad or your mom or your parents. If you don't have close parental figures, you're kind of like your line of defense. So you may be hard on this person or you may be having like high expectations of this person. Five of Wands in reverse, they end up learning really quick that they can't um, do the same old, same old with you. So you're either like reformed, I don't know what it would be, but... If you're a narcissist, like if you're in a relationship with a narcissist, I don't know what that would call, what would you be called? But whatever that would be called, you would be like a reformed that or reformed victim or something like that. Or, you know, you've gone through some, some life, you know, life experience will definitely do that. Um, that has shaped you into like this strong, confident version of yourself. Because if you're giving out this energy and listen, they're following through, they're jumping through every hoop and they're doing it. But you got to be tough as nails, like, because it really seems unrelenting. This person is always working to make you happy, always working to better the marriage, the relationship. And to even be a better version of themselves. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Strength card. This is giving there is no try, only do. <laughs> there is no try, only do. Seven of Wands is very similar to the Strength card. And the fact that that's showing up in reverse is like, no, we're at the higher octave. Um, we're at the Strength card. So let's see. Let's get... Spirit, anything else you want to show us about their personality? who they are, 
We'll get some initials next, and then we'll see how you can get to them quicker. <clears throat> yeah, here's that mother archetype showing up again. This person also, I'm getting a lot of like fire energy. Like this person may have a fire placement specifically in their Mars and their natal chart because they just seem relentless. Like when it comes to something they want, they do not stop. And it makes this person able to achieve goals that other people can't because they do not give up. Like it's giving triple, triple fire in their big three or like something really strong and powerful or like two fire in an air, you know? Um, so let's see, we have the gambler. I'm like, what do I even want to talk about? We have the gambler and the thief. The gambler says willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. So this person is confident in themselves, confident in their own knowing, and they're willing to follow their own intuition not easily persuaded by people around them. So if that's something you've experienced, lovers, partners, people, potentials, that couldn't even get past the friends and family, yeah, you're not going to have to deal with that with them. Uh, the thief, it says, sheds light on the potential within you that can never be stolen. So they really empower you and push you to be the best version of yourself. They're really confident and they just give that to you. This person really pours into you. We have the mother. This one says nurturance, patience, and unconditional love and joy in giving birth to life. So again, if you want to have a bunch of kids or if you want to have a bunch of cats, they will literally go toe to toe with you. They're not going to tell you no. Whatever your idea of a big happy family is, this person will give that to you. It would actually be their biggest like accomplishment in life <laughs> just to do that for you. And that only comes of people who really put in that work, which is why it's so important to let people put in that work for you, because that just creates this foundation of this is our dynamic. This is what it is. I do this, you know, for my partner. The advocate says inspires you to put compassion into action. The avenger says desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. So this is someone that likes to stick up for the person, the underdog. They like to stick up for the underdog. They like to help people. They don't like to pe see people being defeated. They really are a lover. And that's the thing with that strength card or that like Leo energy. Like they're, they're really a, a lover. But again, it's fire. <laughs> Spirit, initials for group two. Also, if you see like a word or something, make sure you put that in the comments. Any downloads you get or any words you see, names, put that in the comments for other people so they can get into everything that's coming up. We have P-E, we have V, we have O, we have an E, we have A, oh, two E's then. We have an F, <laughs> we have another O, we have an L. I keep seeing L-O-V-E. We have I. We have an N. We have another O. Oh, and then we have a blank piece. So that means that this person is going to come in like a wrecking ball. Also, whenever the blank piece comes out, this person, their name may be a name that you've never heard of. And that's so funny because somewhere in the beginning of the reading, I was kind of feeling like, oh, you may be meeting this person in a new country. So literally, this person could be uh, from abroad. They can be from another country or you could be meeting them in another country away from your home, um, but they may have a name that maybe isn't translatable um, as well. Like maybe you use letters in your country, but they may use characters or, um, you know, something like that. They just may have a name that you've never heard of or seen with the blank piece coming up for you. So that's another download. Um, Spirit, how can they get themselves in alignment with the spouse? How can they manifest this marriage coming together? We have changes. So right away, this is card number 10, but usually change is synchronistic to the uh, number five. Um, if you've been seeing 10, 10, uh, though that is another angel number of significant change, 999555, even some 111 when spirit wants to let you know you are currently recreating yourself. 
but you're meeting this person through changes. And again, we were getting that with the ascendant outlook. Your ascendant is how people see you or like the mask you wear, how you present yourself to the world, um, how people see you in the world. So some sort of change uh, is happening that is causing this to manifest. And we have success in transformation. So if you've been really struggling to reach any goal, I do you see you I do see you having success in your final transformation and things finally coming together. I see you meeting whatever your goal is, like your goal, lifestyle, your goal, the habit, your goal, weight, your goal, the way you want your life to be set up, your goal, mental state. We have success in transformation and then we have nourish the sacred feminine. So you can also get closer to manifesting this spouse by getting more in your feminine energy, getting more in your divine intuition, your divine creativity, mothering yourself. We also have creator water that has shown up. So connecting with water can help you. Going to the beach, taking more baths, like spiritual baths, not just showers, but baths, really allowing yourself to sit and immerse yourself in that. I actually personally just literally did that today. Took a spiritual bath this morning. It was fabulous. It was healing. And working with water can also connect you with your spouse a whole lot sooner. I'm also seeing manifesting with water. I know some people like to, like you can get a copper water bottle. Copper is a superconductor. You can get a copper water bottle and you can fill it up with water and like whisper your manifestations to the water. Some people like to write on a sticky note um, and then put a glass over it and then fill that up with water, speak into the water what's on that sticky note and then write another sticky note with like the future that they want and the stuff that they do want and then putting a glass over that, pouring the water from the original cup, which is your current circumstance, into the next cup, and then quantum leaping that way. We have befriend the word polarized. So spirit is really calling you to get out of your comfort zone, to get in a, a alignment with your spouse. I do feel like it's a, a bit of a journey. It feels like it's connected to a bunch of other things, but high, high reward with this one, group two. So yeah, that is what came out for you. That is what I have for you. Uh, my Etsy shop is in the description if you'd like a private tarot reading. And that is where you can find me. And that is what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, you chose group three with the Wheel of the Year Tarot and the Sunstone. This is your reading, your future spouse, everything about them. Let's jump right into it, spirit. Can you show us their eye color spirit for group three? Group three with the sunstone, the eye color of their future spouse. We got gray eyes. We have dark green eyes. And we have big brown eyes. So think like doe eyes, like big brown, beautiful eyes for some of you. Spirit for group three. Let's see their style. We got cute style, pins, cutesy, cheeky. Um, it says on there. So that means like there's someone who likes things. Ah, I forget what they call this. I want to say it's Utiki. I forget what they call this in other cultures. Kawaii is kind of similar too. Um, but this person may be into like, you know, I don't want to say too much because then some of you are going to be like, I don't want that. I was going to say some of you, they may be into stuffed animals, but some of you guys are like, immediately going to be like immediately no from that so listen let's just move on they have a cutesy style it's going to be cute okay trust be patient like you're going to love them <laughs> it's your future spouse okay not your fu your next future you know plan in your face so let's keep going we have simple style simple and clean i'm hearing um also i feel like this person smells good uh we have name brand style oh they got some money and then we have grunge style. So I feel like it depends on when you run into this person. Like, are they out with friends or are they working? You know, they may have like a work hard, play hard kind of vibe to them. 
Spirit, can you show us what is their zodiac sign or their energy? Can you show us how they will meet? <clears throat> So immediately right away, I see you guys coming into a union on the same page. Yep. And then we got fourth house, which is all about the home, the roots. Nice. Ooh. First of all, you guys are a hot couple, I'm hearing. So you guys look very good together. You complement each other. And I'm also seeing people seeing you and the aesthetic of your future spouse and feeling a way about it. Like feeling like inspired or feeling like, wow, I've never seen that together. Like it seems like two people with two different aesthetics coming together and you're like shocking people. People are like, whoa, I didn't know that I found that kind of thing attractive. So something about you is going to be very complimentary to your partner. We have Pluto and Jupiter, so you may be meeting this person with that Pluto energy um, as you're ending another cycle. You may even meet this person sooner than expected, like you may be fresh out of a breakup and then it's like, here you go, boom, future spouse. Um, so just be prepared because the energy is moving quite quickly for you. And Jupiter is the planet of home, the planet of exp expansion in itself as well. So there's another energy of this person just being about uh, growth and expansion in the home and wanting to move forward with you. And then it's also coming out externally. And then you guys are creating that together. So there's a lot of layers to this connection and to this person. We have the eighth house with intimacy and the fourth house with the roots. So again, I'm feeling like spirit is showing me a couple on vacation, but they have a kid or kids at home. And the version of you two on vacation, it's so crazy. Like people may, like the people you meet on vacation, they become lifelong friends of you and your future spouse, but they see you like so differently than you show up in the world. So you may be someone who naturally likes to go on vacation or you like to turn up on vacation. You like to live in an alternate universe where you have an alter ego during vacation because I'm seeing like a whole lot of fanfare on vacation. You're going to get it on a splits. Okay. Like, what do you want? How do you want it? Like, that's how you're getting it on vacation. Uh, the intimacy is really good with them. And you also have a very strong fourth house energy of being grounded and being all about, like, the home, your stability. We got to come back to this. Like, we plan for this vacation. And we're also not spending our rent on this vacation. Like, it's everything is in its proper order. So you guys do things right. But you really like to have fun as a couple. We got Libra. That's actually the only zodiac sign that came out so they could have they could be a libra sun or have libra in their big big three even their venus placement um because venus is you know your relationships how you show up in relationships the kind of partners you're attracted to what you go through in love so you could see that libra energy there libra in this deck is the idealist it says harmonious balance artistic idealistic people pleasing choosy graceful, considerate, and flattering. And it says a few more other things on there, but there is an energy of this person being an idealist, someone who can take a vision and make it a reality. And then we got Venus in love. So again, work hard, play hard, work hard with the sun card. This is your responsibilities. This is what you take action towards. This is your masculine energy. This is what matters. This is your foundation. This is being a head of household. And then we have Venus. So if you guys do have kids, and that just keeps coming up for me for whatever reason. I mean, it is a future spouse reading, reading, but not everybody wants kids. But if you do have them, your kids are going to experience being able to see genuine love in their house. That is not toxic. It's not loud every day. It's not chaos. It's not drama. Like genuine love. They're going to get to see that. So if that's something you've always wanted to give to your kids, if you already have one, or to your future kids, if that's something you've been worried about or something you've wanted, I do see you getting that. Spirit, their hair. Let's see. We got trendy haircut slash style. So this person likes to go with the trends. I feel like they typically look pretty good. 
We have dyed hair plain. So there's two tabs. There's one that says dyed hair colors and one dyed hair plain. So this would be like someone with black, black hair that goes like to a uh, brunette or like a uh, light brown or, you know, something more natural, not like purple, green, orange, or maybe orange, but not like purple, green, blue. Uh, and then we have cool hair. So something about this person's hair is unique. Uh, something about their hair they get a lot of attention for. This person may have a lot of hair. Like they may have long hair or they may have big curly hair, beautiful hair. They may have a unique hair texture or really luscious locks. I feel like they do get a lot of attention for their hair. They also may have a different kind of hair than what is popular in your region. So if in your region everyone has curly hair, this person may have straight hair for an example. Let's see, their skin tone. We have light skin. We have pale skin. And we have suntan skin. So this person, it's, it seems like they range from suntan skin to like tan skin. What was the other one? Light skin. Let's see what else we get. Well, Spirit, can you show us about the marriage? How will they come together? We'll get their initials as well. And I'm also going to pull on how you can manifest them into your life sooner. How can you meet them? How can you get on track with them? But let's see what we get, Spirit. Show us the marriage. Show us how it will come together. We have the Empress in reverse. I'm going to cover her up because I don't want it to get real. So let's see. A lot of this is very synchronistic. A lot of this is like that meant to be kind of destiny energy. We have the chariot and the princess of wands. So this relationship, this person has a strong leadership energy. They're leading you, guiding you, helping you, sending you love, understanding. They're really there for you and you're bonding on a deep emotional level with them. So if you've had surface level connections and you haven't been able to be fulfilled, even if you've been in relationships in the recent past, that is not going to be something that's going to perpetuate in this relationship specifically. We got the Three of Wands and the Queen of Cups in reverse. So I see that Spirit is leading you with the Queen of uh, Cups in reverse. There may be a journey or there may be heartbreak that's happening before this Three of Wands coming together moment. But this does feel like destiny. Uh, Queen of Cups being in reverse can be like someone who's disappointed uh, because of time wasted or an investment that they've made in a previous person. So... You'd be surprised what can still, oh, I forgot I was covering her. You can be surprised, you know, what will still come up, like how, what will still come out from self-manifested connections. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Empress in reverse. So we have, first of all, a lot of Queen energy, a lot of feminine energy. I feel like this has been all about you, like your journey A lot of it has been about you finding yourself and like taking uh, men, women, masculines, feminines, people, whatever it is you're into off of the pedestal, like decentralizing. I've been seeing that a lot as a trend, like decentralizing people so that you don't spend all of your life trying to just, you know, get into a relationship, but you connect with someone through honoring your own path and your own desires. Um, so that's how this is happening. We got the Five of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Um, so I am seeing, seeing you meet this person as you're in some sort of transition. And we have the Three of Swords that just came out. So it could be a transition um, that has to do with heartbreak. Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Three of Swords. There's like an energy of this coming in a time in your life when... They're really kind of like your saving grace. And I feel like that's a theme in the relationship. Bottom of the deck, we got the six of pentacles. This person feels like home. They feel like your childhood. So if you are someone who's big on like, man, things were better when I was younger. Or if you're someone who genuinely feels like 
the world was kinder to you at a different part in your journey or you were kinder to you, you were softer, you were more loving to you and other people in a previous part of your journey, this is going to be a bit of a rewind. Like this person is going to make you feel connected with that lovey person of yourself that hasn't been hurt from relationships or, you know, that hasn't gone through whatever it is that you went through that really changed you. This relationship is going to be like how you felt before that. So there's something about it that's very nostalgic and it feels very right. And I see you very being very protective of your home, very protective of your partner. So you may not even let people come over your house, like not even joking, or you may insist, insist, okay, on moving out of state, moving to a different country, moving away. So you do not ever have to worry about your friends, your past, your family, whoever, um, getting you off track, catching up to you, or ruining your life in any way. You're like, phew, you want to move on so quick. It's so clear. <clears throat> we have the Princess of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. So I'm getting a lot of endings coming through um, as this is coming together. Spirit, anything else about their personality? Before we get some initials, anything else about them? Ooh, we got the Rebel and the Don Juan. Okay, this person is very smooth. Um, the Don Juan says spotlights your positive seductive qualities. So they're also helping you to feel empowered. If you're really big on empowerment over whatever community you're into, this person is so into that as well. They want to support you. And the Rebel, it says challenges authority to affect social change and reject spiritual systems that do not serve in our needs. So again, if you're someone who's like who would like to like move or go off the grid, I guess I didn't say that for you guys. I think that was group two. Um, but if you do want to go off the grid and you want to live a different kind of lifestyle, you're going to be able to do that through this connection. And that'll be really nice to have a safe space, someone who gets it and someone who also is on that same path. They're in your home and also they're in love with you. So it just makes it so much easier. We have the slave and the virgin. So there is something about this person that makes them totally dedicated to you. You may even see something like that. Um, I, I have a connection in the pattern app and I looked up my synastry with another person and it did talk about how that person would be dedicated to me. And, you know, that is so true. Like that person, I'm, I'm just seeing their chart now. So you may have something like that in your synastry with them that it's like just makes them like completely dedicated to you doesn't even matter when why you could be completely like dead wrong and they're still dedicated to you the slave says surrendering your uh, power of choice to the divine with complete trust so they trust the universe they trust spirit they trust higher powers they trust the divine they trust you and they trust themselves period they're surrendered and then we have the virgin, it says, maintaining symbolic purity of the heart and spirit. This person could have literally waited until marriage, though, especially depending on where you live. Some cultures, a lot of cultures, actually, are still, um, you know, following through with, like, purity uh, before marriage kind of thing. So I'm also getting this person, they're kind of... Um, like that in a sense where they're just a bit naive like this person they could have gone to private school or they could have you know uh certain things that have happened in their life that i don't know it just kind of makes them they may have been very sheltered let's get some initials if you see any words or names make sure you put that in the comments for other people who didn't get the downloads that you did okay we have an a we have an i we have a, another i we have a T, we have a W, we have an E, we have another A, we have an O, we have a C, we have another O. You guys are getting a lot of vowels. I don't know what that would mean, but you are. We have an S, we have another E, another vowel, we have a V, and then another T. All right, uh, let's get some, speaking of tea, let's get some tea on how you can manifest this sooner. Spirit for group three, how can they get in alignment with their future spouse or how can they manifest this sooner? We have a limitations inspire innovation. So spirit is telling you to get creative. Also, I'm picking up specifically for a single mom. Spirit is saying get creative or a single parent. 
there's an energy of spirit kind of saying, yes, I know you need daycare in order to go on dates, but get creative with it. What can you barter with your your homegirl, you know, coworker? You know, what skill do you have that you can give to someone else for some for some child care? You know, spirit is saying get creative with it. Your limitations inspiring your innovations will bring you closer to this relationship. We also have bravely market your magic. And what I'm getting with this is someone is afraid to like say it with their whole chest. Someone is afraid to speak up specifically when they're doing magic. So spirit is saying bravely market your magic confidently. If you want to work with a deity, confidently approach them with an offering. Of course, don't be rude. You don't want someone coming to your house asking you for help and they ain't got to give. You know what I'm saying? So do the same thing. You know, offer them a little something, something okay. Um, and then confidently state your case to them exactly what you're looking for. Give them a time frame, parameters, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing. Whenever it is that you're working magic, spirit is saying, be confident about it. Bravely market your magic. And we have integrate your knowing. I do feel for a lot of you, you know that it's just around the corner or you know how long. It feels like so interesting because it's not feeling like it's coming from divination. But I feel like a lot of you in group three, you actually already know when love is going to come in for you. Um, and I don't know what the deal is about that. I don't know what the butt is to that. It just feels like you actually already know, but maybe you don't believe your, your own, you know, intuition, but you've seen it time and time again, be spot on. So honor that we have ambush fear with your ferocious dreams. For some of you, spirit has been calling you into a job change or a move or starting your own business or, you know, going to a new place, talking to new people participating in a new activity like spirits been calling you out of your shell and honoring that is going to bring you significantly closer to your person and then we have cozy up with risk so spirit is saying a lot of this is just out of your comfort zone a lot of this is just out of your control and the biggest part for a lot of you will just be getting comfortable with the risk getting comfortable with not knowing everything getting comfortable with shooting your shot and spirit is calling you out of that and into your time, your person, marriage, your next cycle, your next phase in life. So that's what I got for you, group three. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what I got for you today. I will talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group four with the Appetite Stone and the Tarot Illuminati, this is your reading, tapping into your future spouse. We're going to get everything about their physical description. We'll even get their zodiac sign, their initials. I'm going to look for how you can manifest them sooner as well. I ended up doing that for all the piles as well. Spirit, this is for group four. Group four with the Appetite Stone. Show us their future spouse. I'm going to start with the eyes and we'll see the marriage how the marriage itself will be itself will be how it'll come together we have dark green eyes you're the only pile that got dark green eyes today we got brown eyes and we got gray eyes. Something about this person's energy, I feel like they have this ability to kind of shift and shape shift. There's an energy of them looking considerably different from day to day if they want to. They may be the kind of person that likes to de dress like depending on how they're feeling. We're going to tap into their style now. Um, but I feel like the same is with their eyes as well. If you look at it at a certain angle, their eyes may appear more gray. You look at it at a certain angle, they may appear more dark green or even blue. We have name brand style. Ooh, they got money. So tapping into this person, we have e-girl slash e-boy. So this person 
Yeah, it definitely gives. My way of dress is based on my emotions. We have time period based style as well. I feel like they dress differently and they look differently from day to day. And something about them is kind of like, they, they feel energetically like a character that you would read about in a book, a fantasy book. So if you're into that, <laughs> I don't know how, but you're manifesting that into your life through your future spouse um, because they have that kind of like quality. I don't know what to call it, like ethereal, but ethereal is more like otherworldly where it's similar to what I'm feeling for them, but even it's still something like different. Spirit, for group four, can you show us their zodiac sign, their energy? Um, also, any information on how they will meet? We got a bunch of cards that just flew out. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got this moon energy. We have Saturn and the moon. So this person, they feel like they've lived many lives. This person feels like they're a star seed. Their energy feels like it's really not of this world. So yeah, it is like that ethereal kind of quality. Like I said, it felt more fantasy to me. Like they were, I don't know, just a different kind of being here on earth. But now I'm getting that Saturnian energy, that moon energy. Something about them is very dreamy. Something about them is very different. They are naturally mysterious. Also, something very specific Spirit is showing me. This person may have built-in eyeliner. Um, like, you know how some people, their eyes, like, they don't wear eyeliner, but it looks like they're wearing eyeliner. I'm getting that a little bit with this person. We got the first house with the self. And the first house is like you're rising. The first house is how you appear to other people, how you present yourself in this world, how other people receive you, perceive you. Um, so I feel like this person is very conventionally attractive. This person has like pretty privilege or a handsome privilege, whatever the male equivalent would be, whatever it is that they, like they have it. Pretty privileged. Like a lot of people are very attracted to them. We got Aries energy coming out, the first of the zodiac. In terms of signs, we have Aries and Libra that came out. So those are placements that you can look for. Um, but their energy is so magnetic, like even Aries being the first uh, sign of the zodiac, something about them kind of gets you out of your body and present in the moment. When they talk, you can't help but to listen. You naturally are very tapped in and attracted to this person. I don't know what kind of voodoo they got going on, but their energy is like so... It even kind of pulled me out of my routine of like, all right, because we're, we're picking up so many things today. These readings always go by so freaking fast. And so we get everything. You know, I got to get to it. But like, it's like, no, they pulled me out of body and they're like, see me. And that's how you'll be in person, but only a hundred times more because you'll quite literally be in person with them. The best part about this reading is that this is your future spouse. Like, I'm so happy for you, group four. You are winning with this person. Like, it's like everything. Something about them is very naturally entertaining. I'm like, ooh, tell me more. Very curious. It feels like I'm reading a book when I'm reading into their energy. Uh, we got the numinous with mystery. This is the numinous deck. It has a bunch of like uh, transits and things like that. Um, a bunch of astrology stuff in there, zodiac stuff. And the numinous is their additional card here. Um, and it's all about mystery, the unknown. So I feel like what you experience with this person is going to be like nothing you've ever experienced. But also I'm feeling that this person may have like some sort of secret purpose, some sort of secret information or some sort of secret job. I'm talking like this person could literally work for like the secret. So I know it sounds crazy, but I'm just saying like the energy is literally like that. Like they could be a literal, you know, govet agent. Um, or a literal star seed and like remember I see them communicating this to you we have mercury the planet of communication coming up and then we have a semi sex a semi sextile with allowing so in terms of how this will manifest with that semi sextile energy again it says allowing it's just about allowing it to come through and this is someone that 
with all their power, if they didn't want you to perceive them, I bet you couldn't. <laughs> like, I'm convinced that this person is like actually from another planet and they have like special powers and they know a bunch that everybody else doesn't know. <laughs> like, I really feel like they have some sort of special powers going on. Okay, let's keep going. They're here. We have Pixie Cut slash Fade. We have Frequently Changes Their Hair. Dude, I'm like, who do you work for? Because, like, what is going on? We keep getting this very mutable energy that keeps coming through all of the tabs like they just keep getting these kind of placements and then we have curly hair i'm like so curious like what is that are they a stunt double like what is going on why is there this element of them that is constantly changing and evolving like is it intentional are they a, lit a literal like listen i've been seeing a lot about ufo like what is going on are you getting an alien bay group four I'm so thrown off by this reading. I'm like, what is going on? Hopefully you guys can feel the energy. Uh, we got darker tan skin. We have a light brown skin. <laughs> and then pale skin. And no, it's slightly tan skin. I'm just saying, like, messing with this energy, reading into this energy is going to be, like, polar opposite. It's got to be. But it's slightly tan skin is the last tab you got. Um, all right. Let's keep going. Let's get into your tarot. Spirit, tell us about this marriage. How will it be? How will this come together? With the semi-sextile allowing, a big part of this manifesting is you just being open to it. Um, but with Mercury with communication, that could be that you meet them in the dream space or you hear them, you see them, you have telepathic communication with them, astral energy where you're meeting them in another dimension, either right after you meet them or right before. <clears throat> Spirit, show us about the marriage. This person is really big on communication. Something coming up, they're really big on communication. There is a hidden aspect of their life, though. Like, something about them is secretive, but I feel like you know more than anyone else. So I'm telling you, this is going to be someone with, like, some sort of secret information, some sort of extremely high-paying job or position. We have the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups in reverse. That's giving me an energy that they travel a lot as well, but I see you staying stationary. So it looks like this person travels a lot and it's for work or whatever assignments, like whatever that means for them. Um, but they do have like some sort of higher purpose or a higher career that does kind of keep them traveling I would say like a fourth of the year, like a considerable amount. And there is a part of their life or a part of them in general that's just private. We have the Ace of Swords, so they do have good communication and they take care of you. They take care of their responsibilities. They're an equal partner. But then we have the Four of Cups. I see you having time on your hand. I see you having... Um, still having to kind of like fill your life with other things. So if you're someone who usually gets consumed like in your relationships and you give it your all, um, this relationship is going to be a bit different. Your marriage, your spouse, um, it's, it's kind of, I wouldn't say unconventional, but there is an element of we both have our own lives or, or our own things going on. This person definitely does. Um, and slowly but surely you're having to get used to that. And then it becomes your new normal and you have your own things as well. And you guys have a really tight bond. But we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The beginning of this marriage, you're going to be unlearning something. Unlearning everything you used to know because I'm telling you this person is plugged into either like galactic information or worldly information like high high secret information and you know once they kind of put you on to everything that's going on 
And once you get used to their lifestyle, you start to find a new norm. But before that, it seems like it's a process. You're an individual. This person is an individual. And you're taking some time to kind of warm up to each other. We have the star in reverse and the death card in reverse. So this is a stable marriage. Um, something coming up. Sorry, I have a fruit fly in here. <laughs> I'm like, you little. I swear, it's like the flies just want to come out um, at the time that they know that you can't get them. But um, dang, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, this is this is the type of person who will not leave. So if you've had previous relationships with partners and that's been something that you're afraid of, death card in reverse, I don't see you letting go of each other. But with the star card in reverse, that just kind of lets me know like there's a lot you're having to get used to through this marriage um, or you're realizing marriage isn't what you expected. Like a lot of people feel that way. If they feel like if I get married, that means I'm guaranteed to have someone who's always there that I can always like if I want to watch a movie or if I want to go on a walk in a park I always have someone there and it's so much more than that you know it's not just an extra body that's a whole human with a whole soul and purpose you know here and so a lot of people find out the hard way that it's not always like just you know the good stuff or the fun stuff a lot of times it can be distance and still finding yourself even as you're merging together with another person so there's something about that but a lot of stability here we did get the ten of pentacles in reverse and the four of swords so i see you guys creating a normal that works for you spirit anything else you want to show us about their personality before we get some initials <clears throat> who is this person spirit see and we got the mother archetype that showed up which is actually very surprising to me um because with someone like this i guess it reads as detached but i see you finding a new way that you're defining love so you don't feel detached once you get used to this marriage once you get used to this person um I feel like you actually feel a deeper level of love that maybe you haven't experienced in previous relationships because it is literally like you and this person finding your unique groove, your true rhythm, your true happiness as well. Yeah, we have the alchemist that showed up for this person. So a very creative person, also someone who is very emotions based, very attached to their empathy, someone who's willing to work on things and constantly recreate themselves, constantly redefine the rules or what works. This is someone who's constantly evolving. So if you're someone who's constantly evolving, they're not going to be put off by that. Also, something specifically that I'm hearing, if you're someone who struggles with like mood regulation, like, uh, like you go from one emotion to the next very quickly, that is not going to be a problem for this person. <laughs> There's benefits to a person like this. You know, there it does kind of feel a, a bit detached. And in the beginning, that can be confusing or it can be uncomfortable because it's a new norm that you have to get used to. But also there's many benefits to it to where it's like, okay, sometimes you just need a rage and move on. But with some people, it's like you rage and they like actually get scared and then they don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> So you're not going to have to worry about that with this person. Um, we have the mother, which surprised me the most because we have Saturn that came out before, which is more of a father archetype, more of a serious archetype. So I am surprised to see that this person is coming up so motherly. But again, I feel like it's just them getting used to like it really feels like you're dating an alien here. Someone that we do not know, like we don't have any uh, experience with here on on our planet on Earth. That's how it feels. Uh, we have the teacher. So I do see this person communicating to you their knowledge, what it is that they've learned, communicating information. We have the child divine as well. So there's something very youthful, very youthful and playful about them. Very caring, still connected to their inner child. They may love children. Um, and if you want to have kids, I feel like that's something this person would be open to in time. And then we have the damsel. 
So there's also something that's very vulnerable about this person. I feel like they've lived some life, but it feels like they've taken it all on the chin. Like this feels like someone who has had pain or hurt just like anyone else. I'm trying to cover the faces because then the camera starts going crazy. It feels like someone who has gone through like hardships just like everyone else, but only the way that their mind works like it hasn't really deeply affected them. But I feel like once you hear their story, like you may feel very protective over them and surprised that they still show up so like loving and caring. This fruit fly. It's over now. I had to literally... <clears throat> I had to literally smash it on a painting, which is why the tack came out. Spirit, can I get some initials for group four? Also, if you see any words or names, make sure you uh, put that in the comments for anyone else who missed that word or name, any download you get from the letters. We have an A. We have an E, we have an X, we have an O, we have an S, we have an I, we have an L. We have a lot of A's that came up. We got two more A's, so three total. We have an N, we have another S, we have an M, we have an H. I don't know if I said that already, but we only have one H. We have a G, we have an N, so two N's, and then another I. And then let's see, Spirit, can you show us how they can manifest this sooner? How can they come into alignment with their spouse? Okay, so we have the sacred flow of yes. So right away I'm feeling intuition, intuition, intuition. Your intuition will lead you to your partner. And we did get the semi-sextile before with allowing. So again, there's this energy of allowing, this energy of allowing the download to come to you and then acting on it. We also have success in transformation. So I see that there is a transformation going on in the midst of all of this, in the, in the midst of you aligning with this person. Um, and we got a lot of like Aries, first house type of energy, the start kind of energy. Even the numinous can be that similar energy. Talking about this person transforming and you transforming when you're meeting them. So if spirit's been guiding you to go through a transformation, definitely lean into that because it is having a domino effect and connecting you with your spouse sooner. And then we have, what do you really want? And I feel like this is a deep question for you, group four. I feel like it's deeper than what's really on the surface. I feel like that's kind of spirit asking you, like, do you want to continue dealing with the type of people that you're dealing with now? Especially those of you who are in a connection and you want to break free from it. Spirit is saying you have to fight for it. What do you really want? Not in the sense that you have to fight with someone, but fight to be disciplined so that you can create the distance between you and that person and really stick to it and then take things a step further and get to your next space where you will find your spouse in. So that's what I got for you. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what I have for you today. Everything about your future spouse group four. I will talk to you soon.